This tutorial is an introduction to OpenOffice. OpenOffice is a freely available open source software that um, emulates the Microsoft Office suite of programs. Um, you can download OpenOffice um, at the address below and install it on your computer. Once it's installed, open it up and it looks something like this. What we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to see some of the basic layouts um, and some of the basic options that we can do with OpenOffice to make um, your work environment as convenient as, and, and as user friendly as you want. So the first place we're going to start is under Tools. In Tools and Options you can um, make all the choices that you need to choose and what you get is a whole bunch of options in here that you can change. So if you just take your time going through here you can put your own um, information in here and go all the way down. Um, uh, but what we're going to look at today is um, Open Office Writer Settings and the first thing we're going to change is the measurement unit in here I and mean, if you want to stick with Imperial you can do but most of us are on um, uh, mit metric but you can change it to points, pica, inch, centimeters or millimeters I'm going to make it millimeters. You can edit the tab stops. Um, you can come down here. You can decide um, on the view what you're going to be able to see. And again, I'm going to change this to millimeters um, because that's what I like. On a smooth scroll, formatting aids. Just work your way down. Everything that you need. Grids. basic fonts. Now here is where you set the default fonts. Now um, just like um, Microsoft the default font is Times New Roman which I detest and you can simply choose the font that you like. So I'm going to choose um, Verdana because I like that. And what happens is it changes the default font for Verdana for lists, captions, index and the default font and I'll keep the heading at Arial 12 and click on default and that's no, not what I wanted to do at all. Click OK. And you can see straight away that in here my uh, setting has changed to Vedana. And all these tabs and um, dimensions have been put across here. If we c click on Tools again, you can come back through and you can look at all these other options that you can change in here and we'll just leave those as they are for the moment. Um, the next thing I want to look at is um, the layout, that's right, you need, you need to come back into Tools, Options and View, no, General, Colors I think it is, Yeah, in appearance here you can change how what the what your view of Open Office looks like. So if you want to click on the application background here, it's currently it's kind of a grey colour. You can just scroll through here, and I'll just make it something you can see quite easily with the magenta. Click OK, and you can see that the, my working background on the back of my document has now changed to something that's perhaps more palatable. Um, one of the great things about um, Open Office is this little icon here. This allows you to switch between applications really quickly. If you click on this, you can see all the other options. So if we wanted to open up a spreadsheet document, we could just click on spreadsheet. And let's open that really quickly. A, a subsequent spreadsheet document opened up very quickly for us. And the same with um, all the other options in here. So if we wanted to open up a drawing or a database or a presentation um, that would all be absolutely fine. So that's the basic introduction. Obviously the tools are the same. Um, you can change the font here as you can do in Word. You can change the font size so the formatting toolbars are all the same and indeed the method of getting the toolbars into 
um, uh, your working area is the same so you know basically you can apply your Microsoft um, Office tools and, le and skills to Open Office quite quickly. One of the neat things about Open Office is that if you've created a document you can save it and this is the interesting bit down here at the moment it's going to save as an office document which means obviously only office open office can open it but if you are making the switch from microsoft office suite of applications and you've got a whole bunch of legacy documents you know powerpoint presentations excel spreadsheets etc 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 open office can open all of those and indeed save back to them so even if you want to start experimenting with open office um, and your colleagues are still working doggedly with um, Microsoft Office then you can still share your documents and to do that you simply click on this link here and you scroll down so for example we'd probably want to save to Word 97 um, 2000 and XP dot doc and you can see by doing that all of my other Office documents have appeared and so um, Open Office can save into a Microsoft Office format and can indeed open from a Microsoft Office format. Very useful tool. Um, as with all these applications you're going to need to spend a lot of time just getting yourself used to how um, they run. They all look slightly different but for the moment I think that's a brief introduction to Open Office and I hope you download it and I hope you start using it.